Hey guys, so tonight is currently Friday night. It's like midnight because I've not long got home from work. Currently enjoying a nice, lovely option hot chocolate. It's only like 50 calories. It's fun. But tonight is race night. We're just making sure we've got everything set up. And we decided it would be a good idea to go on the website and make sure we know where we're going, that we don't have to take any other information. We signed up for the 10K. It turns out 10K is two laps of the course, which means that we're going to have to do a total of between 60 and nearly 80 obstacles. Good morning, guys. So this morning is the morning of Cross Runner. As you can see, I have a bit of a fog in my throat. I'm... <clears throat> Still a little bit ill, but I'm a hell of a lot better than I was, so fingers crossed I'll be able to survive this. Like I said last night, we're actually going to have a minimum of 60 obstacles to challenge over this 10k course, which is ridiculous, but it should be so much fun and so exciting, so fingers crossed it's actually going to be really, really good. The only thing I'm not going to enjoy is when we were looking at the race map, it looked like we're going to have to swim through a river at the very start of the course. Literally, like the fifth obstacle, we've got to swim through a river. That's freaking ridiculous. I'm wearing clothes. Do you have any idea how hard it is to swim in clothes? Do you have any idea how, dear, how hard it is to swim in wet running shoes? It's not goddamn easy. I need to get some trail shoes really badly. But anyway, we're going to go now. I'm going to leave the camera here. All the rest of this video is going to be taken on my camera or my GoPro until we get home. And I'm even going to give you guys a before and after shot as soon as we get there as well. And as you can see, it was very muddy. When they said wild mud run, they really did mean it. There was so much mud. There was ridiculous amounts of mud. There was over a kilometer of waist high sludge mud. Seriously, it was ridiculous. Jason has actually fared pretty well from it. He's actually pretty clean. I've even had a shower and a wash down and I'm still fecking muddy. I have mud in places I wouldn't even like to think. It is disgusting. <laughs> yes, you are very better. It was great fun though. It's like, especially on the water obstacles, the water obstacles were amazing. Especially the slides, the slides were fantastic. They were so cool. This is <laughs> on grass and mud and hills and we don't have a fall before. So it kind of explains why the camera is so shaky right now. Bye. Well mm. guys, when they do, like I said, they do, they, when they say wild mud run, it was pure mud. There was over a kilometre and a half 
of pure non-stop mud. It was ridiculous. Cow! The cow. So we are finally actually heading home, but I have to say that was by far one of the best, if not the best obstacle course race I am probably ever going to do in my life. I can't wait for the next two. And as I was trying to say early before Jason started driving, my favourite obstacles by far were... Emergency brake. My favourite obstacles by far were actually the slides. The slide into the lake was freaking amazing. I thought I was going to freeze to death. It turns out that when you've done that much running and that much obstacles and you're covered in that much mud, you cannot wait to get in that water. You don't give a sh how cold it is. You want to get in that water as fast as you possibly can. And it was bloody brilliant. And then we, just after that, we went on another mini obstacle and I can't remember what it was in between those. I'd have to watch the video back to find out. And then we went on the big slide downhill. So you like went through a tunnel and then you slid down this great big long massive slide down this hill at like stupidly fast speed. And I went way past the bottom. It's like I slid down and I was like, yeah! going down I was so happy and then I got to the bottom and I didn't stop I carried on for a good five more meters after the slide I, I it was literally because I decided for some reason to sit up and open my legs out slightly to try and slow myself down and that just invented a wave of mud over my head it was ridiculous but it was so funny and so much fun I'm hoping Jason got it on video because I'd really like to watch that guy Jason got stuck but we did get that on video if you want to see Jason getting stuck, please go watch the cross for the video. You will see him get stuck in the mud and he had to get like three, four people to help him get out. It was ridiculous. I did, yes, I did fall in the mud quite a bit, but I didn't get that stuck, not compared to Jason where he had to get like multiple people to help him out. I couldn't physically get to him in order to get him out without getting stuck myself. So I couldn't go help him. Oh, but that was amazing 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 that was by far the best and my far by far my most favorite obstacle course race ever in my life they really do have more obstacles than sense they really do it was so good but yes more obstacles than running it was so good still more obstacles than sense but it was so good it was so so good and i can't wait to do the next one in july i can't wait to do the white car i want to come back here every year without fail and do these runs 50-50 whether I'll do the wild mud run again because I, as much as I enjoyed it, that was a lot of mud. That was a hell of a lot of mud. I need to, I need to train more. But it was amazing fun. Anyone's actually thinking of doing an obstacle course race and can't be bothered doing all that running, go for Prop Runner. It is freaking amazing. You will have 68,000 more obstacles than you will actual running. It's great. But we are actually going to go home now and get a shower because look at me. I'm just... I'm covered! I'm covered in mud! My hair's full of mud! My face is full of mud! I have contour for mud! So we're gonna go at home, get showers, and then we're actually going for a meal with Jason's parents. So, first of all, let's actually get home and get changed and get showered and look decent again. Okay guys, so that is the end for another week. We're actually going to enjoy a meal with Jason's parents now and just actually rest for the next two days. I'm going to spend the next two days editing this vlog and also editing the Crossrunner video, which, I, which I'm currently downloading over there as we speak with Immy and Jason as my companions. So thank you ever so much for watching, guys. I hope this was a far more entertaining vlog than usual, especially now Crossrunner is happening. And in my next vlog, uh, it will either be the SIA course video, which I keep intending to do. If not, it'll just be another standard vlog, but I will actually be telling you guys what is happening on my course, what is it I'm trying to do. I'm still gonna keep the surprise, a bit of a surprise but you're gonna get a better idea of what it is and what's going on. So you'll have a bit more information in the next video, but until then guys, I'm gonna give this video an end. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it more entertaining than my usual videos, please give it a like and don't forget to leave a comment in the video below. If you've made it this far guys, thank you ever so much. You have no idea how much effort it takes to actually put these videos together, so I'm really, really grateful that you've watched it all the way through. And thank you ever so much, every single one of you. Hope you have a lovely day, a lovely weekend, and May your life be filled with happiness and joy as mine has this week. So fingers crossed, everything will go right from now on. So take care guys. Bye! Say bye Amy. Say bye Jason. <laughs>